Hello, this is Stolzo Zero, and welcome back to Minecraft Story Mode, Season 2, Episode 4, uh, Below the Bedrock. So, in the last episode, we met some people at this, like, weird castle. They were pretending there was a bunch of armies behind the gates, but clearly it was just a um, jukebox recording. So yeah, now we are heading into the challenge room, where there's a bunch of challenges and stuff in this place. This will explain it a bit more. Let's go into it and begin. The cabin must be through that door. Oh yeah, we're trying to get to a cabin and we have to complete some challenges. Those pressure plates release waterfalls upstairs. It's so calculated, so precise. Judging by the multiple pressure plates, there's some complex engineering behind these walls. Wouldn't expect anything less from the guy who made an icy palace of despair. <laughs> True. I think this was meant for the three friends, Romeo, Zara, and Fred. How do you guys feel about pulling some mystery levers and seeing what happens? I feel like it's a great idea. Designed all this just for his friends? Are you ready for the most thrilling, death-defying, heart-pounding challenge you've ever experienced? Sure. Oh my goodness, what is this? Oh Great. dear. Another golem. This time made of magma. Yep. Ooh! Wow! What a showdown, folks! Oh, there's only like one hit for these guys, luckily. But they do dodge well. Alright, now we've got the iron golem. Okay, so poking fire might not be the best idea. We've gotta try something else. Yeah! Take that! Overgrown bark! Oh, of course, the water. The waterfalls! Jesse, water turns lava into cobblestone. Yep. Yes, we've got to get them under it. All right, golems, time to get soaked. Okay. Okay, so we need him to step on this, correct? There we go. It's mining time. Q, 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 Q. Just do, just do my, doing my daily mining of my magma golem. <laughs> too easy. Of what? Complete. What? Six hundred. There's no way we're making it to stage six hundred. Three levers got us into this, so. So maybe those three levers will stop it. Aha. Come on, Radar. Let's bust that machine. Something tells me this isn't going to be easy. Uh, alright. Dodgy, dodgy, dodge. E or Q. Oh, down. E. Ooh. Alright. Radar, you have to break the machine. I'll cover you. On it! Okay. <laughs> oh, we're going to do some archery. Q. Q. E. Boom. Nice shooting, Jesse. I think 
Whew. Whew. There we go. All right. As good as that I said, I think you broke it. Now, prepare yourselves for... Stage 600. Oh my goodness. That doesn't... <laughs> now, now, I'm not a monster. There is a crafting table nearby. <laughs> this guy has a twisted way of playing with his friends. Indeed. He can bring this one down with water too. I love this music Radar in the background. Be the Fine. Okay. So. Focus on enemies with Q and E. Okay. Draw the magma golem to the pressure plates. Can I just like fight him? Oh! Finally, I figured out how to do it. Alright, mine them down to size. Okay. I don't know what I did. I just went closer to him and started fighting. Maybe this will help me somehow. But I've only got one heart, unfortunately. So I've got to really be skillful in this. In So I've got to... Oh man, I'm dead again. Alright. So I think I know what I'm doing now. I think. So let's see if we can get this done. Luckily, it saved my spot where I was. Right. And I have full hearts. So I've just got to rush over to his other arm. And just start, like, attacking. D! I clicked D! Man. This game... This game, it's starting to... It's starting to get to me. I know what I'm doing now. Hopefully... You've died too many times. You will no longer take damage. Wow, game. Wow, game. It knows. It knows I'm terrible. So I've died so many times, the game has felt so sorry for me. Oh, man. At least the game's nice like that, but... Jeez, alright. That's embarrassing. I've died so many times, I can't even take any more damage. Oh, no, my pickaxe is broken. Dummy. Doesn't want anything to do with the waterfalls now, does it? I broke my pickaxe anyway, so I guess it's time for another idea. We have gunpowder! TNT! Just gotta get some sand and we're set. Right, good thinking, Radar. Radar, get ready. Fire incoming! Alright. Just need four sand blocks, quickly! There we go, we've got the four sand blocks. Hey, Golem! Over here! Oh, yes, what are we what are we crafting? We're crafting Come a TNT block. Gunpowder. Oh, gunpowder and sand. Rocks! Come on! Come on, I'm right here! So, middle this. Okay. We've got to really concentrate. Like an X. Stand yes, I, I know. Come the on, game craft, isn't. Craft. Craft, I'm cra crafting, crafting, crafting. Over I wonder here, what. Magma face. What? I... If you would stop, like. Focusing on the. How's that looking? It's, it's looking good. It's looking alright. Just let me craft it, please. Can't do this forever. Create. No! I clicked. I'm, I'm, I'm... It keeps looking up. Alright. To like this thing. Lava. That might work. Oh my god. And there's all the water. Oh, you've done it! Oh yes! The power of our friendship prevails! Yes! Fireworks. 
a hidden stage. No, please. How the? How did you? Uh, why do I even keep asking? <laughs> it's a smart llama. There we go. Achievement unlocked. Not what you expected. So we're on the final stage right here. That took way too long. <laughs> wow. This is the first place down here that looks alive. There's a parrot. Oh, oh perfect. Huh. Oh. I'll meet you over there. I'm gonna go take a look around. Okay, for Fred. All right, let's have a look here. Uh, look at Raider. I'm sure this isn't what you thought you were signing up for. Being an intern doesn't usually involve deadly adventures. Uh, what? Did you say something? No, nothing. Talk to. How are your feet? Ah, better. Still a little crispy though. Ow, ow. Okay, that hurts. Rest up, Radar. You've earned it. Can we talk to the llama? <laughs> no. Alright. So, I guess we... Look at this place, though. This place does look pretty cool. Uh, let's look at the flowers. Let's look at the flowers. Alright, let's go look at the flowers. See what... It's so strange to see flowers growing down here. I know, right? It's very Someone set up these lamps after the bedrocking. Someone must still be here. Da -da -da. I wonder if Petra found something. Looks like she might have. Talk to... Talk to Petra. How's it looking? Doesn't seem to be anybody around. Nobody inside. Should be safe. Safe-ish. Let's just get that weapon and get out of here. It's never going to be that simple, surely. Uh, let's see. Bookcase, look at. Remember I used to read all the time? No, I barely do. Things change. Yeah. Practice does It's like the one we used to have back at the treehouse. Till someone, you, broke it. Uh-huh. Petra? What's wrong? Uh, n nothing. It just reminds me of... Uh, this, this story about puppies. Really sad story. <laughs> you know me, I can't help crying about dumb stuff like that. Puppies, little chickens, rabbits that can't find carrots. Let's hear it then. I want to hear the story. Um, so, yeah... There, there was this puppy named uh, Pendergast, <laughs> and she uh, fell into a. Ah, uh, th there is no puppy. Does this you. remind you of anything? Our friends, we used to hang out in that treehouse all the time. Now we barely talk. Why does this keep happening? Everyone leaves, and I'm, I'm just by myself again. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I see them one by one just leaving. Not everyone leaves, Petra. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, but maybe that's the problem. What if I want to go somewhere that isn't Beacon Town? I'll just be alone again. Axel and Olivia are barely around. We already lost Jack. Didn't take long for the new order of the stone to fall apart, did it? My fault for thinking it would be different. Held together longer than most. Just because we have our own lives doesn't mean we aren't friends. We still care about each other. They'd be here if they cared. I, I know this isn't important right now. Let's just find the weapon and get out of here. Indeed. Something's not right here. The 
beds don't go with the banners? Always like the color blue, something peaceful about it. Hmm. Pick up. Whoa, it's an observer block. What's it looking at? The beds? Ah, so there's some redstone behind these beds. Red bed. <laughs> kind of fun to say. Red bed, red bed, red bed, red bed. <laughs> it is. Red bed. Another observer block. And purple bed. This one's purple. Very regal. And pick it up. So now, by looking at these banners over here, uh, we have blue going to the book. Well, let's look at banners. Zara, Fred, and Romeo. These must be their banners. What about this? It's a weapon, right? It's just a wooden sword. It's like the first thing you learn to build. Hardly an all-powerful super weapon. Let's keep looking. Something that belonged to Fred. Okay, so we know what's going on. So red uh, sword, blue book. That's actually pretty simple. So blue book. Blue for Fred. Indeed. Something that clicked. Did something. One down. Now the rest of these need to go in the right order. Yep, okay. Red for sword. Romeo. Red for Romeo. And purple for Zara. Like purple for Steve. Zara. And something opened. Oh yeah, and that's her bed as well, isn't it? Forgot about that. Dear Zara, if you're reading this, I'm already gone. I hid this in the one place I knew you would look for it. Fitting the key to ending all this would be here, where it all started. This is the key to defeating Romeo. It says, hashtag potato451. Potato? That's the weapon? <laughs> what are... What? What are we supposed to do with potato? That's Hashtag potato not a weapon. It's a root vegetable, and not a very good one. I, ugh, I hate potatoes. <laughs> That's what it is? That's so dumb. Right? <sighs> Hashtag potato four five one. <laughs> it's take funny this seeing the game say hashtag. Use it at the primary terminal. You can take away his power and end this. Word of passage, huh? I guess that's the potato. I still have hope for Romeo. He just wanted us to stay together more than anything. I know that's why he's doing this. Maybe I'm being foolish, but I need to know for sure before taking this step. Though I guess if you're here, I got my answer. Maybe someday we'll be together again. Your friend always, Fred. Kind of feel bad for them, don't you? Yeah, I feel kind of bad for them too. This wasn't easy for any of the admins. They really cared about each other. Everyone talks about Romeo like he was this controlling monster, but Fred wrote that Romeo just wanted to keep them together more than anything. Isn't that what I've been doing? Especially to you? I don't want you to feel forced to keep doing something you don't want to. I don't want to be that person. Or, or make you feel scared to tell me the truth. As if you could force me to do anything. Guess I should give you a little more credit. I've been thinking a lot about what you said. Adventuring is what I'm good at. It's where I belong. Not in Beacon Town. But I don't want to <laughs> lose you. You mean a lot to me, Jesse. I... More than 
anyone else, you've been there. And I... I don't want to leave if it means... You have to do what's best for you, Petra. And no matter how far away that takes you, you'll always know where to find me. I'm gonna miss you. I always knew you were a big old softy. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never be able to prove it. We'll see. We'd better get that book back to the portal. Right. Let's go stop the admin. His days of being Jesse are over. Yep. Oh yeah, because he's still impersonating us back at the Beacon Town. We need to stop him. All the others, we're getting out of here. This is the portal. Place firework. For a reason to keep things away there are people in Fred's keep who are coming with us right that won't be a burden sounding pretty adminish there Zara <laughs> the weapon is what we need not bodies to throw at the problem people just complicate things make everything messy inefficient no one no one gets left behind ever I mean, that's not exactly true. You did leave that villager in my cell when we left the prison. But we, we need it... Well, from now on, then. Might be your downfall, waiting on others. Better be careful about that. As you can see, the portal's fully functional. You complete your end? Yep, I think this should send us home. And there's Fred's weapon. Potato. Hmm. Weird, right? I, I thought it was weird. Hashtag potato. <laughs> Fred trusted him. He went to Romeo with the best of intentions and was... was... Ugh. There is no redemption in Romeo. None. He needs to be stopped. Once and for all. He deserves it. Worse. For this and everything else. It's the only way. You know that's not what Fred would have wanted. No, you're right. But Fred is dead because of his heart. Something else has to be tried. But heroes are supposed to help people, not hurt them. Romeo deserves what's coming to him. Fred should be avenged. Fred was the best of us. Cut down. I can't let it stand. Romeo regretted what he did. He planted a tree for Fred. We saw it. <laughs> a tree. <laughs> a memorial is too little. Well, what about that whole game he built? He clearly cared about you. Once. Romeo destroyed my world, and I wasn't there to help it. He's stolen it from me. There is no rebuilding. I have nothing now. It's really over. There is one thing. Here, I found this, and there are good things left if you look for them. That you would... 
I'm not used to being wrong. Thank you. But we still need to move forward. <sighs> All right. Let's get this over with. Hand over that trinket of yours. Uh, Jesse? Uh-oh. It was the fireworks, wasn't it? Definitely messed things up a bit. That's our way home! Uh, let's just say a lot. Oh, man. Everyone, get out of its way! Oh, dear. Again. Okay. Let's do this then. There's a lot, by the way. This is a lot of mobs. But they're all one hit by the way. Look. I mean, like, I have got an enchanted sword. What is Jesse doing? He's just going around in circles. That's not me. I'm clicking back. What if I just spam? There we go. Spamming is probably not a good idea considering. Um. Considering the energy bar there, but there we go, one down. Luckily, they made it like super easy to kill these guys. And boom. No, I will not run anymore. Uh oh, bad choice. So you just do your worst, you hope. E. I don't think we're doing anything except angering it. You let Jesse go! Don't you have any decency? It is not cool to go around smashing everything up, making a mess, and grabbing people! Ah! Eat this! <laughs> um. Back. You thought a little fall will get the better of the velvet tornado? Please. <laughs> for Good Fred Jack. Cape, for the future. Fight! Someone's got to catch me up here. They're on our side. They helped us back in Fred's. Up. Well, the more, the merrier. Yep. Let's go. There's a lot going on. Time to let my sword get a taste of Monster High. It's hungry. Yeah! <laughs> we have to repair the building, otherwise that Enderman is never going to leave us alone. Oh, Q, Q, Q. 
Okay, so we're taking all of the materials and nothing like a little pressure to make building fun. Here we go. Will that do? <laughs> All we did was add some cobblestone to patch it up. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's not the best material. Exactly. So sure like, will bring us, but hopefully it'll be close to home. Yeah, it'll probably bring you right to the end. I <laughs> like the lava space. Look at that. All right, here we go. Activate portal. Everyone, we are leaving. Radar. We're winning for now, but they're not going to be able to hold that line for much longer. We're Especially ready to go. Especially not if that Enderman takes the portal apart. It's bad news. Ah! It's after me. Of course, it's after you. You looked it in the eyes. I'm just worried that radar might have to stay. That's the worrying thing. More bad news! I think it likes me! But that means I can be a distraction! Uh, yeah, if you want to be stuck down here. I know! But if I do that, it'll let everyone get through the portal safe and sound! Uh, it's too dangerous. Bait for a giant Enderman radar, it's too dangerous. Hey, I helped defeat that magma golem, didn't I? I can really do something here, and I want to help. No way everyone's getting through the portal with that huge creep hanging around. They get left behind. Uh, I don't know. The Enderman is after me. I can buy you time. Don't be a hero. You're our friend, Radar. We're not leaving you down here. We have to stick together. Yes, we've already lost time, Nerm. Jesse, I know and it. almost lost um, I Jack. Have to do this. Come on. What's the options here? We have... Save Fred's people. Or... Return with Radar. Oh no. Uh I'm gonna say Um So I'm gonna say I'm unfortunately gonna have to say save Fred's people because there's a whole lot more people there than there is Radar, but Radar is really like good friend and stuff, but we'll come back for him, right? We're coming back for him anyway, it'll be another excuse to come back down here to save Nerm and to save Radar. So go for it, Radar. It's I'll logical. See you Hopefully it doesn't Come end up with the portal being Oh broken. yeah, that's right! I'm talking about these huge arms! He has this, and he's giving us an opening! Everyone now, Ken, come on! Hopefully I choose the right us. choice. Anywhere's gotta be better than here! Jimin unlocked out of time. There's a llama. <laughs> I'm with the llama. <laughs> Is everyone all right? It's the old order's temple. We did it. 
We're back! <laughs> Radar would be flipping out if he were here right now. Standing where the great hero stood? This is amazing! <laughs> Spot on impression. I mean, come on. You know he'd be all over historical Order of the Stone sites. He'd probably not want to touch anything. Too scared. <laughs> it was weeks before he'd touch the Order Hall front door without wearing gloves. <laughs> Radar deserves to stand here, too. He's just as much a hero as the rest of us. He gave Binta's people the chance to escape and help us stop the admin. Jesse, we are endlessly grateful to your friend for what he did for us. Well, we'd thank him if we could. We didn't know if we'd ever see the sky again. Uh-oh. Did you see that? Okay. Somebody tell me I'm losing it. Is that... Beacon Town. No. And that's the end as well? What? That's the end. Did you accept Scavenger's deal? You and 66.8% of players refused the Scavenger's deal. 32 did, okay. Or didn't, or did, yeah. Did you win the trivia contest? You and 79.2% of- my adventures were over. I was content to let life pass me by. That is until a young hero came along with a glint in their eye. You and 79 percent that was awesome. They said, Jack, do oh. you think you can give me a hand? For mine is trapped in a glove from the sea. I thought I had left the seas behind, but the seas came a calling for me. Uh won the trivia contest in Fred's Keep. Only 20.8% didn't win. A hero, Not a lot of more choices that time. This is awesome. I hope there's no copyright. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. So, like, Jack singing sure about, like, glory. his story behind in the background. Backstory, his but background story. But I'm And this is this is awesome as well. I'm thankful my arms are so ripped, or I've been crushed from the start, and I'm grateful my pecs are so jacked to hold the pain of my broken heart. My friends' faces they'll never leave me, so I wrote them the sad serenade for the curse of a memory that's perfect is that most faces they'll never fade. It's a lonely road for a hero, but I won't be alone at its end, for I will wait in the shadows until we meet again. Until we meet again. What did you say to Petra? You and 17.2% of players promised to wait for Petra. 1.8% of players stayed silent. 81% of players promised to stay with Petra. Did you give Zara her bed? You and 87.3% of players gave Zara her bed. Who did you bring to the surface? You and 65.8% of players brought Brit B Binter and Fred's friends to the surface. 34% um, didn't bring them. They would rather save Radar. That's interesting. Alright, so let's go to uh, the continue and see what's next. Let's see if there's a next time on Minecraft Story Mode. Jesse, man, is it good to see you. Where are the others? <gasps> really? That's all you're going to show us? Oh my god. So, that's going to be it 
for this entire series of Minecraft Story Mode uh, Season 2 Episode 4. Episode 5 will be coming out in predictably about a month or so. Um, so, yeah. Until then, I will not be uploading any more videos of Minecraft Story Mode because there is nothing more to do until the next season come out comes out. So, videos will be back to normal, and thank you really so much for watching. If you did enjoy this, and uh, can't wait to see episode 5 um, from my point of view, then yeah, make sure to subscribe, ring the notification bell, so that you do not miss a single video or of any of the action. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.